The green iguana is a large, arboreal lizard found in Central and South America and some Caribbean islands. They are known for their bright green coloration, but can also be brown or gray. Green iguanas are herbivores, feed on leaves, flowers, and fruits, and are able to stay underwater for up to 30 minutes. They have a long, whip-like tail, which they use for balance and defense, and a unique third eye on top of their head. Green iguanas are social animals, cold-blooded, and can live up to 20 years in the wild. They lay eggs in burrows or nests in the ground, and their populations are declining due to habitat loss, hunting, and the exotic pet trade. They are known for their bright green coloration, although some individuals may be brown or gray. Green iguanas are arboreal, meaning they spend most of their time in trees, but they are also excellent swimmers and can stay underwater for up to 30 minutes. They have a long, whip-like tail, which they use for balance and defense. Male green iguanas can grow up to 6 feet, 1.8 meters in length, while females are usually smaller, around 4 to 5 feet, 1.2 to 1.5 meters. They have a unique third eye called the parietal eye, which is located on the top of their head and can detect light and dark. Green iguanas are herbivores and feed on leaves, flowers, and fruits. They have specialized teeth for tearing and grinding vegetation. They are social animals and can often be found basking in groups. Green iguanas are cold-blooded, which means they regulate their body temperature by basking in the sun or moving to cooler areas. They have a lifespan of up to 20 years in the wild, but can live longer in captivity if properly cared for. Female green iguanas lay eggs in burrows or nests in the ground, and the eggs hatch after around 70 days. Green iguanas are often kept as pets, but they require a lot of specialized care and can be difficult to handle due to their size and strength. In some areas, green iguanas are considered invasive species because they can cause damage to native vegetation and compete with other species for resources. Green iguanas have been used in traditional medicine and some cultures for their supposed healing properties, although there is no scientific evidence to support these claims. The population of green iguanas in the wild is decreasing due to habitat loss, hunting, and the exotic pet trade. Green iguanas are able to detach their tails as a defense mechanism. The tail will continue to wiggle, distracting the predator while the iguana makes its escape. The tail will eventually grow back, but it may not be as long or as colorful as the original. When threatened, green iguanas will inflate their throat and puff out their dewlap, a flap of skin under their chin to appear larger and more intimidating. The green iguana's skin is covered in small scales called osteoderms, which act as armor to protect them from predators. Green iguanas have a unique way of excreting excess salt from their bodies, which involves specialized glands in their nasal cavities. In some cultures, green iguanas are considered a delicacy and are hunted for their meat. Green iguanas are important to their ecosystems as seed dispersers and help to maintain plant diversity. The green iguana's scientific name, Iguana iguana, comes from the Taino word iguana, which means lizard. Green iguanas have excellent eyesight and can detect movement from long distances, allowing them to spot potential predators or prey. When basking in the sun, green iguanas will often tilt their body to maximize sun exposure on their skin. Green iguanas are able to change the color of their skin slightly in response to changes in temperature or mood, but they cannot change their color to blend in with their surroundings like some other species of reptiles. Thanks for watching.